It's every parent's worst nightmare. A call from the police in the middle of the day asking if you know where your child is. Here's how it went for one scam call victim, Delhi-based Kaveri Ganpati Ahuja. The first thought when I got that call was sheer panic and um, absolute horror because um, the man who identified himself as a cop was asking me very roundabout questions. He was asking me, where is your daughter? Do you know where she is? Kavya kahan hai? Aap jante ho? Uske saath kya hua? Aap jante ho? You know, all that. So I, in my mind, I thought the worst. I thought she's met with an accident and she's hurt. That's why a cop is calling me in the middle of the day to ask me about her. So my first thoughts when I got the call was just complete, I froze. And then this man, the so-called cop, went on to tell me that my daughter has been arrested. And I was actually relieved. I was so relieved that she's not hurt. But I was still panicked, you know, and I wanted to know what she's been arrested for. So he tells me that she and four girls have been arrested for trying attempting a sextortion on an MLA son. They had some compromising videos and photographs of him, and they were trying to extract money from him. I knew this is just not possible. This is so not my daughter. But then they got her on the line. Her as in, it was her voice pleading with me. Mama, mujhe bachalo. Mama, mujhe bachalo. Luckily, Kaveri had faith in her daughter and an inkling that she was being taken for a ride. She began to record the call for evidence and here is how it went. <laughs> What actually happened was that she was on the receiving end of a scam call which uses sophisticated deep fake audio techniques to prey on parental fears. If Kaveri had engaged in further conversation, the supposed police officer would have asked for money to bury the matter or to get her out of jail. What's worrying here is that not only do scammers know yours and your child's names, but can also fabricate audio clips that even to parents sound just like their children. This technology is called voice cloning and until now, it was largely restricted to cloning of celebrity voices or those of prominent people whose voices are frequently recorded for public consumption. A report by McAfee published last year revealed that 47% of surveyed Indians have either been victims of or knew someone who had fallen prey to an AI-generated voice scam. With AI penetrating our day-to-day lives further and further, it's becoming more and more difficult to establish what's real and what's not. You know, the parents and the children themselves, and in some cases even the schools, are posting a lot of videos of the children wherein their voice is also easily available. Hackers or scamsters, I would rather say, the cyber criminals and uh, download these voices from the Instagram reels or YouTube shots and then using AI, they clone the voice of the child. Once they have cloned the voice, they just write any script. Let's say you want to say, I want to hear the uh, uh, child saying, mom, please help me. And along with the crying sound, the AI. The software in the AI will exactly give you that sound of that particular child. And this is how these scamsters play that voice and we tend to believe that it is our child who's in trouble and that is the time then when we just give away the money because the scamster is saying that if you want your child to be protected, this is the kind of money you will need to be giving us and you know for settlement and that is the time when the parents are transferring money. There have been several such victims uh, in India itself. Now in, in order to, for us to be aware about it, what we need to do is whenever we get such a call, please practice the pause. So I would say follow the model of POV. Practice the pause, look at things with zero trust and verify. 
According to CK Baba, Deputy Commissioner of Police for the Southeast Division of Bengaluru City Police, we must note that no government agency will call you over WhatsApp, Skype, from a toll-free number or from another country code. As awareness of one scam grows, the modus changes. Be aware and be skeptical. If the scammer is threatening you with legal summons, ask for the notice in writing. By law, any legal notice must come to you in writing first. As technology evolves, it becomes important to build your own mental firewall.